Hi guys, it's Monty, back with a couple more small project shares to share with you from the Scrap Diva Designs November release. Um, the first I'm going to share with you today is this set here. I know it's kind of messy. <laughs> uh, Christmas bag toppers. So they're the same thing, just in two different sizes. So you have your... <coughs> have your two pieces so this is um, like the back piece here's the front piece this is the larger one it's about well if I just go on the bag actual topper part it's about let's see one two three four about four and three quarters wide and then it comes with the this piece to layer so you can um, layer up the sleigh and the, and the reindeer in different colors and then here's the um, uh, like the reins to the reindeer and then it also so then the exact same thing whoops I just dropped a piece exact same things come in um, and this is just a smaller size and this one is about one two about three and uh, almost a half okay so all the same pieces it's got this cute little um, star design on the bottom that cuts out really nicely so um, I made a couple um, I am using for these projects here I am using the simple stories winter wonder collection I love this I got a bunch of it last year I don't know if I ever used it last year it's real simple, real simple, real similar to feeling frosty, but I just love the colors of it. And so this is the large one that I made. I got the cute little, um, here's the, um, you know, the base piece. I did put a strip of pink paper back behind there because I wanted the stars to show through. So I just put a piece of, just trimmed a piece of paper and put it back there so that would be pink stars coming through right there. And then I layered up the, um, uh, the reindeer in the sleigh with um, I, yeah it's 110 pound cardstock just to get a little bit of sturdiness sticking up like that and then I just decorated it with the uh, rosette and some of the um, you know foam stickers and brads and stuff from the collection ephemera this little puppy star I had in my I just hauled from Timu again so there's that one and then this is the small one so cute so again a rosette chipboard ephemera pieces a, a flower stickers <laughs> all kinds of stuff i think it, these are just gorgeous and you can also because it has a layering piece you can also um you know use these the sleigh and reindeer separately too if you don't um you know want to make a bag topper so that's kind of a plus also so i got those two and the second die I wanted to share with you <clears throat> is this one called um, Christmas Rosettes. And you get three different ones. So there is um, you know, the largest or widest one. So it's going to make the biggest around. And then there's this one's just a tad bit bigger than this one. These two here are the same design, just kind of a, a pointy edge. This one here has kind of like a loop in between there and then the, there's like a star on the top of the whole edge so it makes it really cute um these cut out super great sometimes i don't like to make rosettes just because of how um, just sometimes they don't cut out the greatest and hard to hold i don't know i loved how these turned out okay so let me share with you here is the biggest one now um, so it's the biggest one, but I only use two strips of it. So rather than three, oh, <laughs> you guys look at my fingernails. Rosalind gave me a, um, spa day over the weekend. So she was combing my hair and <laughs> this is my manicure. <laughs> she was painting and putting little paints on top and yeah, sorry about that. I haven't had a chance to take it off yet. Plus I don't want to hurt her feelings. So. I just been, you know, I'm a grandma. I'll wear it like that. <laughs> so anyway, that, that's what that is. <laughs> so anyway, here's the, um, here's the rosette, the largest one. 
but again I only cut two strips rather than three you, you'll, you'll have a fuller one if you do three I kind of prefer not to have the fuller ones when I when I make them for what I like so anyway this is what the this is what this side looks like just plain and so then I just used a bunch of you know stuff from the collection and some other things flowers and resin pieces just to decorate it up so this one is about four inches wide I don't typically make big ones because I hardly ever use big ones now this is perfect for like a wand or something like that or if I had some kind of big project I was making on, but typically, and that seems to be the case with just about everything I make, I use the smaller things than the bigger things, but this is beautiful, okay? This would be gorgeous, you know, like on a 12 by 12 layout also, really pretty. Okay, so there's that one. Um, this one here is the middle size one. Now, so this one, it's cut out with two strips and so you can see how much fuller this is because it's got the two strips and you can see the little kind of stars there at the top again i just simply decorated it okay so there's that one um here's another one of these now this one it appears smaller it's the same one but um, and the reason is i um I cut it down a little bit okay so because I, I like I say I prefer smaller so what I do <clears throat> so what was this one right here I still didn't want it that big so I just like trimmed it off about like right here all the way down before I folded it and it's made with two um, yeah that was made with two strips also of that one and so you can do that with any you know die you have you don't want it that big but you like the design or whatever whoop, just cut this one down if you will if you like that Maybe you like this bigger edges and stuff, but you don't want it to be that big around. Um, just, you know, cut it off wherever you, wherever you see fit. <laughs> so there's the difference in those two. Okay. This, so this one ends up out to be about two and three quarters. And then this one here is the, um, the smallest one. And I, yeah, I just made this the regular, it's two strips, and I didn't cut it down, so this is just the regular size uh, that would come out if you didn't trim it down. Okay, so pretty. And if you noticed on my, when I was showing you these, these are actually, this, these are some of the, the rosettes also. So here's this pointy one, that's the small size one that's not cut down, so that's how big it is. So pretty. And let's see, yes, I used the other one too. And then, so there's the same one, the same littlest one, but still, but still see how little, much littler it looks? Because I trimmed it down. So compare those two together. So that's what I have to share with you today. Um, another quick tip, let me share with you. And I, oh, I should have cut some out. Maybe I'll share that on another video. Because um, I didn't, I'm not prepared the way I needed to be. <laughs> So anyway, that's what I created. I'll, um, I will link everything below if I've inspired you. Please feel free to use my discount code. It's Polka10. That's P-O-L-K-A-10. And use my affiliate links. That shares a little bit of the sale with me, but doesn't cost you any more. I really appreciate that. When you do that, it's so sweet of you guys. I will link Erica's shop. I'll list the discount code. I will also um, link these dies. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.